bullet bag for you guys today and today this will be a tutorial for the basics of the game we're gonna start um, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect to each sector uh, how to connect to um, the Lyoko how to connect to Carthage I'm gonna also show you how the transfer process I'm gonna also show you how to deactivate a tower and um, how to do a lot of stuff actually um, but at the moment we're just gonna start with um, um, basics of how to connect to Lyoko so there's no auto connection okay Let's go ahead. I hope this tutorial will help you guys because um, I can tell some people are still new in the game and they still need help. So the first thing, here we are. But we're not connected to Lyuk. As you all can see, if I open this page, I am not connected. So what I'm going to do, this is the Lyuk connection page. So I'm going to close it back. You can open it from here or you can type Lyuk connect. And it's going to open again. So what you're gonna do is Lyoko connect dot on. Boom, you're done, you're connected to Lyoko. But you're still not connected to sector 5, which is Carthage. So what you're gonna do is hit Carthage, type Carthage. It's gonna ask you for the code. You all know the code. Scipio. Boom, you're done, you're just connected to the virtual heart. Alright? Um, here's the thing, you can close this, but you cannot close the Carthage one, because if you close it, you're going to have to reconnect again. Alright? So I'm going to put this in the middle. Um, just so you know, guys, this is the clock. This tells you the real time. So this is my real time. It's, it's Today is the 12th of December. Um, it's 12.01 right now. Uh, wait, is it actually 1201? It is actually. Wow, I'm surprised. Yeah, this is the real time clock, but I can speed it up. So basically, um, I can just speed up the process of anything. Here it tells you how many minutes left before Xana start attacking. This is for the return, uh, for the materializing the vehicles. It shows you uh, how many minutes left before you guys can materialize them back, because it has limited time. So basically, you can materialize them once and then wait for that time. It's, it's usually six minutes, I guess, for the these. Return to the past is the same six minutes. Um, the boot. So basically, all of these, I guess, are six minutes. Now, for the Lyoko Warriors, it's like 13 hours or 12 hours. Okay? So as you all can see, it's zero, so we can materialize any of them. All right? So what are you going to do over here first is check the Lyoko Warriors if they are in the map, in the, in the factory. So you're going to hit C map. Alright, now you want to hit C map dot phone location, which is phone lock, L-O-C. As you all can see, the Lyoko Warriors are all in the factory. If I hit any of their names, it's going to take me to their place, but they're all, say, in the factory, right? So we don't need this. And now, we still have time before Zen attack, but we can force him to attack right now. But I'm still going to go over the tutorial. This is the terminal page where you type all your codes. It also shows you the energy stats, the link, um, the link page, which, which has the Lyoko Warriors over here, and the sectors. And the uh, devirtualization and the divert, which what um, um, which what Franz Hopper did with Ailita at the beginning, and this is the vert um, page. This is uh, the C coordinates, and it also shows you the coordinates over here. Like you have to get the coordinates in order to transfer and the um, and the Lyoko um, uh, what is it um, and the Lyoko sectors. You can also go by the towers, like you can go next to the tower, and I'm going to show you guys what I mean right now. So uh, here, uh, it opens the uh, Lyoko connection. This, it says auto-closing link window enabled. So after I transfer them, after I hit virtualize.exe, 
and they get transferred to Lyoko, this will auto close, so I don't have to worry about closing it. All right, and this is an, an anomaly. Anomaly windows in it disabled, which means these are the errors windows. They're gonna be disabled for you. You're not gonna see them, but I just wanna enable them to make sure there's any problem. And here is a transfer process. This like opening the scanners, and I'm just gonna close them back, and I'm gonna do them by typing in the terminal. I'm gonna open everything in the terminal, showing you guys. Now, as y'all can see, Zanakan attack. I um still didn't go over the virtual map. So you have to type VMAP. I'm gonna open you the virtual map for Lyoko. If you want to open any sector, you just hit VMAP dot and type the name of the sector. Let's say desert. Desert. <clears throat> it might take a little bit of process. As y'all can see, there is no problem. Uh, if you want to move it like me, you can just right click on the mouse and just hold hold right click on the mouse and just start moving around. You can also zoom in and out by the scroll the scrolling wheel in the mouse. As you can see, this is the sectors. You can left click on any of the towers and it's gonna take you there. Like it's gonna position the the um, the virtual map on it in the middle. You can also start moving like this. And um, if you ask me how, you're gonna hold shift. It don't matter which shift, and then you're gonna right click and start grab holding and like grabbing the virtual map. All right. You can also go up and down by um still holding the shift um, button and um moving the mouse wheel up and down. Moving it up will bring you up. Uh, moving it, I mean down back to you will bring you up, and moving it forward will bring you down. And as you all can see, this is the digital C. It's it's uh it's actually a nice design in the up down there, even though it's not like seen, but it's still. But as you all can see here, this is the, the sector, desert sector. You can also do that to any of the other sectors. V map dot ice. And actually, here's another example. Uh, this is the ice sector. And also, let's open the cartridge. So what you're gonna do is, if you are not connected to cartridge, you're not gonna be able to open it on the virtual map. So here, let me show you. I close cartridge. If I hit vmap dot cartridge, it's not gonna work. Here, it shows me an error. Localization unavailable. Basically, that's why. Uh, that's basically uh, the reason why. Uh, because I'm not connected to Carthage, so I'm gonna hit the CPU back. All right. Now let me do it. VMAP dot Carthage. Let's open it. Boom! Solved. Now you go. There you go, guys. This is Carthage. As you can see, this that's that big sphere. As you can see, this is the only tower that it has. Uh, if we go down. All right, let me, let me map. If you all go down over here, you are all gonna see the core, and this is the the chamber for it. If you scroll all the way down, you all can see this is the chamber to enter it. Now, what I really don't, I, I hope that they put back, is the like here. I just tell them get get in the core. But there has to be a certain time where they can enter. Like you know, guys, remember there was that um, Carthage um, hole, uh, like a chamber, entering chamber that keeps opening and closing like a hard beating, like, like a hard beat. I hope that they add this to the game itself. There'll be a cool. This will be a very cool thing to do. Um, also, I love the um, the data that is being transferred through the tunnels. These are the tunnels of the sector. Uh, I love the way that they shows us the data being transferred. Um, also, as you all can see, this is the elevator. Uh, as you all can see, this is the arena. You could um, also, if you want to transfer them, but if you don't know if the maze um, is um, if the maze is available, like or is in there or not, like if you have to go to, during the maze or not, you can do this. Carthage dot maze, I guess no. Carthage dot 
sensors. All right. Wait. I guess I hit the the right one. Garbage. Dot sensors. Yeah, here. And this basically will show you if the key is available or not. It says uh, it says a maze unavailable because the key is found already. Uh, if you says sensors dot key, sensors dot key, it's gonna take you to this page. It's gonna say zero countdown. This is the countdown usually for the maze. But as I told you guys, since we don't have to worry about the key since it's already found, I don't have to worry about this. All right. Um, um, so yeah, basically that's it for right now. Uh, this is basically how to um, see um, how to get on the virtual map. Oh, and there's also one thing I wanted to show you guys in the map. If you hit vmap.legend, it's gonna tell you every guy, every single guide about how the logos for the Lyoko warriors and the monsters on Lyoko. All right. So here. It says, uh, this is the picture for Odd. It's like a dog um, print. Ulrich is this uh, samurai symbol. Yumi is this symbol. And William is this symbol. Now, here's this thing. Um, some people don't know what's a, how, how do I know the difference between Alita and William. Well, basically, Alita is yellow and William is green. So, all the Lyoko warriors are green except Alita and the cologne of any other Lyoko warrior. They're all they're the only two that are yellow. And if you want to know the difference between the cologne and Ailita, you're gonna see um this arrows on it which means a cologne and this symbol of Xana which means Ailita. Uh here let's go to the monsters. Now here uh this is a polymorph. If it's red and it has this symbol on them uh if it's red, it shows you. If it's raised, I mean, it's it's one of Xana's monsters. Now, this symbol is basically the same as Alita's, which means that it's uh, for Alita's polymorph. This is Odd's polymorph, Ulrich's polymorph, Yumi's polymorph, and William's polymorph. Usually, William doesn't show up as a polymorph um, unless Xana decided to do that. Usually, uh, William appears either with us. Or against us by coming back from the digital sea to us. All right, and this is the um, cankerlet. This is the block. This is the symbol of the blocks. This is the symbol of the hornets, the mega tanks, the trans tarantula, tarantula, the manta, the creeper, the crab, the guardian, the skipazoa. Which is one of the most dangerous things. Basically, the Skipazoa doesn't attack anybody. I mean, if, if Skipazoa is the only one, uh, like, if there's only one Lyoko warrior in, in Lyoko, and Xana finds Skipazoa, or Skipazoa is available, basically what he's going to do is either try to steal the memory, so that this Lyoko warrior is dead, or either take control of him, to either bring him back to life with him, like, not bring him back to life. To so take him with him back into the digital sea. So basically what's going to happen is that the Lyoko warrior will wait until he defeats all the other, um, uh, all, all of his friends since he is Xenified. And then he's going to jump back to the digital sea. Um, I actually haven't tried to um, see what's going to happen if we try to attack him. But I hope that this is not a bad effect for it. But anyway, uh, let's keep going. This is the Colossus, which was we don't have yet. The Congri, which we don't have yet. The Shark, which we don't have yet. And we also, um, uh, just a, like, not something to know. Manta, Translu Transluta, Tr Tarantula, and the Megatang are the most, are the toughest things in the game. The crab can be killed by uh, two hits. The guardian can be cologne, like we can even do a cologne for it, so it's trapped in 
get destroyed. Skipper Zoa doesn't attack at all. Like let's say you got into a battle with him, you, he's he's just gonna stand there and you're just gonna keep hitting him until he goes away. All right. Um, the Mega Tank is very tough. The Manta as well is very tough. The Tarantula can be hit by three hits, so it it might not be that big deal. The Horn is easy. The Block can be hit by twice. Uh, the canker that can be hit twice and the uh, no once actually the creeper can be hit once um, nothing much let's go to the Xenified Alioka Warriors this is a symbol of how would the Lyoko Warriors look like if they're under Xana's control if it's Xenified it's gonna show up orange so as you all can see here is green and here it's orange if it's Xenified this is Xenified Alina, Xenified Odd, Xenified Ulrich, Xenified Yumi, and Xenified Ulrich. Here is Alina. Wait. Um, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I guess. Um. RT Xena. I guess this is when they are, um, when they jump back to the digital sea, like once they're still at the beginning, but this is when they're completely xenified. This is like when they're sort of xenified, but this is when they're xenified. And these are the symbols for the vehicles, overbike, overwing, overwing. We still have, the, we still don't have the skid bladner and the nave skid, nav skid. These are symbols of other things. Uh, like um, the friends hopper like uh, monsters this is the friends hopper symbol this is the the mantas that are followed by friends these are the creepers that are followed by um, friends so these are the monsters that can help you um, if Xana if, if um, friends hoppers there all right uh, basically this is the legend I went over all of it. Um, so yeah, I guess we're ready to go. Let's just do an activate, uh, deactivate a tower. Just gonna close this for a reason. I will tell you guys about it. Now um, you can wait. You can speed up the clock until he attacks back. But I would rather just go attack right now. So I'm just gonna type Xana. This means forcing him to attack. As you can see, Xana just started an attack. Oh, hello, this Fulker scan just picked up uh, an attack. Alright. So, um, this tells you the sector. This tells you the tower. I guess this should tell you the coordinates, but I don't know how. Um, I'm just going to take a look back for it later on. But anyway, you can minimize these like this, or you can just close them automatically like this. Or you can close them at all. But I would rather just keep them. If you want to skip all this, like to remember, oh my god, what uh, sector it is and uh, what tower it is, you can just hit over here, this button. It's going to open the virtual map for you. It's going to open the sector and get directly to the tower that is activated. So it tells you sector ice and it's tower 5 that is activated. Now here's the thing. You can... Um, you can virtualize them based on the coordinates. So basically... You open vmap.crd, which is the coordinates for you, as you all can see. It's going to show you the coordinates that you can transfer them in. Uh, you cannot transfer them with this range. Otherwise, they're going to, like, fall into the digital sea or, like, it's not going to be, like, the right way. They're, they're not going to, like, be in there. They're going to be pushed back. All right? Um, you can, like, transfer them based on the coordinates or you can... Uh, based on the coordinates or based on the tower so you can transfer them next to the tower or you can transfer them on the immediate coordinates that you have on over here all right so what i'm going to do is try start so i'm going to hit trends now let's go um if you really want to check if there is any local warriors available in the scanner room you can just hit elevator all right now, I don't know if there's all of them, Not, like, it's the it's a glitch that is in the game, I guess, they're still working on, that all of them are in this, like, spotted in the same position, so I'm just gonna assume that all of them are here. If 
from the last time. So I'm gonna hit Ilita dot trans. You wanna enter the Glioke Warrior's name and then dot trans. This is Alita. This is odd dot trans. Now uh, based on how many Leo Wars you're gonna get, you wanna check how many monsters are in there. Oh, so we got two mega tanks. So in order to prevent any other damages, we're gonna transfer all the way the trans. Alright, I'm gonna do a link, open the link page so you can scan them. Alita dot scan. Oh. Okay. Odd dot scan. Alright dot scan. I apologize about the miswriting because. My, my keyboard is on a position where it's like not the correct thing. Alright, so I can just minimize this for a second to show you guys what I mean by the coordinates. So I can transfer them over here, but you're gonna have to type the negative. So you're gonna type negative 422 dot negative 170. But I would rather be on the positive side. So what I'm gonna do is let's hope that it, this range is available. Show me again. Oh, okay, we can we can transfer them over here. Oh, if we went to the positive side, it's gonna be pretty far. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to do it manually like this. There we go. We can transfer them right here. All right, so we're gonna hit vert. The ice dot and you're gonna hit negative negative one two seven dot negative one six four all right so as you all can see these are the ice coordinates over here let me just maximize it over again as you all can see here the coordinates they are set and all what you're gonna do is just vert dot exe there you go. Good. All of them are over here. Now let's just organize them. Now, as you all can see, one of the monsters started moving. So then, once the uh, the Lyoko warriors are back in Lyoko, they split. The the monsters split. Some of them go attack the Lyoko warriors, and the others go attack the go stay defend the guard the the tower. So I'm just gonna start hitting fields, energy fields. I guess it needs more than this. I'm just gonna do double laser arrows. It's gonna cost them two, but that's fine. And let's do one impact, which will finish him. All right. So boom. So yeah, as I told you guys, the mega tanks are really tough, and they're gonna take forever to be um killed or destroyed. All right. So here, I didn't show you guys about this. Uh, this tells you what is um the tag, the type of attack. I'm just gonna kill this. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna show you guys what I mean when it's tough. I'm gonna do just the simple attacks. As you all can see, three mo three Lyoko warriors already got um, attacked it, and it still still have health, and it already almost like made the Ulrich lose seventy percent of his health, seventy life points. So that's what I mean. Uh, the for the last thing before I just go on is that. Uh, it tells you here what type of attack it is if it's like a weather disaster or like something that can be stopped It's gonna show you here the countdown until thousand damages which is gonna be the last once it reached thousand you're dead Or you're done. That means Xana either reached you or game over for you All right, so I'm gonna let Alita go in the tower right now Now here's the thing Alita can open her visual and you can see actually Lyoko, but that's only when the Lyoko warriors are not with her in the sectors at all. Like if if Aileen is the only one in Lyoko, this can happen. So I'm gonna open it right now because she's only the only one in the tower, and this gonna it's gonna work. As you can see over here, Aileen's visual is available. If I got out back, wait, actually it it does work. Wait. That's weird. Wow. 
Wow. Um, that's sort of strange. It usually gives an error. Like, let's say if I type it again. Visual. Um, honestly, I don't know. I might be a glitch, but usually it cannot show up if I lead that as um, with um, Lyoko Warriors. Like that, that is the the most weird thing I've ever had. This is a glitch for you, um, for the creator of the of this game. So uh, he just knows that uh, what kind of things he needs to work on. We're gonna go up tower. Now, as you all can see here, this is the page where I lead under the code. I'm just gonna hit the code Lyoko. Alita, code Lyoko. Boom! Deactivated. And we got rid of the attack. Alright. So, yeah, basically that's it. This is how you um, do it. And now, if you want to divert them, let's go back to link. Alright. Dot divert. Not vert. Uh, dot divert. Alita dot Lever. and then what you're gonna do at the end it only can maximize up to three at the time because you only you know, you know we only have three scanners so it's gonna be divert dot exe okay and basically there you go as you can see it's they're gonna take 12 hours to be able to virtualize back and then it takes about 13 hours to be able to attack so basically it's a smart way to give their Lyok warriors time before Xana can attack again and sometimes Xana attacks after even 13 hours so yeah basically this was today's tutorial but we discussed how to open the Lyoko connection how to open the Carthage connection we uh, discussed how to um, open the legend for the Carthage and what happens if you try to open Carthage without um, without connecting to it on the virtual map. We also discussed how to uh, transfer the Lyoko Warriors. We also discussed how to deactivate a tower, uh, how to open a to the visual. And just to let you know, guys, it is really a glitch that happened today um, because usually if Aelita's visual... If she is with Lyoko Warriors, it cannot be working. That's something that I'm telling you guys. But I mean, as you all can see, this uh, this wasn't an example today. If I leave this visual outside the tower uh, and it showed you guys Lyoko, how does it look like? It's pretty good so far, but they need to work on the updates on it. Like um, they still need to show us the like the body of the Lyoko Warriors and the monsters as well. This is something I'm sure that and you will work on later on. Uh, I hope soon enough to make it more realistic. Um, also, um, the only thing that can show up while you're materializing it is the um, the vehicles. You can see them uh, while they're being transferred to you because they spot they get spotted next to you, and you can see how they get materialized. And this is a good thing, uh, but you cannot see them while you ride them. Yeah, while you're riding them. But yeah, that's it. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and please give me a like if you did um, that video. If you did like that video, um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to get all the news. Also, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. And as you all guys, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.